Hey there, Cancer. My apologies for this reading being so late. I've had a ton going on and cannot get to these readings. So let's go ahead and get to your reading for the bit, the, blah, 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 the last bit of January 2020. Please, your energies, your universe, your sweet ones that know Cancer, show me energy for Cancer. Something loving, something nice. Something loving and nice. <laughs> So many of the readings have been so harsh. <clears throat> okay. You have the Page of Cups coming out for your first card. Page of Cups is an energy of friendship, extending an offer of friendship. It is a card of apologies, communication, extending an olive branch. Um, it is sometimes just getting into your emotions. It's a card of artistic aspects, you know, going to school for art, studying art, being a painter, whatever it may be. We're going to get some more though and get into it. Show me more for cancer, please. Queen of Pentacles here, Cancer. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. <clears throat> Could be an apology from somebody of that nature. Could be you apologizing to somebody like that. Could also be a mother who takes care of her children very, very well. Show me more. So you have the Two of Wands with the Queen of Wands coming out upright. <clears throat> Fire Energy, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Aries. Ace of Swords. One more for Cancer. Three of Pentacles. Thank God. Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Good. So it feels like there's new direction, new change. You may be having a situation um, with a fire sign or an earth sign where there's a connection with each other. There's communication, it feels like. Um, moving towards something positive, moving towards something that both of you will feel satisfied and happy in. It's about direction, but I think there's um, an emotional aspect here that needs to be communicated. Some sort of I need this, you need this, where can we meet in the middle about that? It's that kind of energy. Nothing feels bad here. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and pull some cl clarifying energy and we will get into the reading, okay? Show me the page of cups for cancer, please. Show me the page of cups for cancer. So you have the six of cups. It's coming out in reverse, but... Oftentimes, the Six of Cups is um, somebody from our past. It can talk about the desire for a reconciliation. Um, it may be somebody that has had a difficult time letting this go, and you have somebody wanting to communicate that, you know. Uh, the Six of Cups in reverse is where we, like I said, have difficulties letting certain situations or people go. Um, it can be a discord within family life, discord within our children's um, upbringing or childhood experiences, um, you know. Either way, it is about things from our past. Show me the Queen of Pentacles. Three of Cups here for the Queen of Pentacles. I'm just going to go ahead and pull the rest of the energy out and then we will get into it. Show me the Two of Wands here for Cancer. God, it fell. You have the Two of Swords coming out in reverse for the Two of Wands. Show me the Queen of Wands for Cancer. You have the Chariot here. Ace of Swords for Cancer, please. The Ace of Pentacles coming out in reverse. And show me the Three of Pentacles for Cancer. For the Queen of Pentacles. For the Queen. For the Queen of Pentacles, you have the uh, Three of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. 
So yes, this is about discernment. It's about understanding what you want from a person, from a situation um, in your life. Some of you, you're going to be really like weighing up values in regard to your partner or potential partner, somebody from the past. If they're coming back into your life, it's almost as if like you are weighing up the potentials that you want and you're seeing if they can actually deliver. Hi, Marcel. Hi, sweetheart. Um... <clears throat> There may have been a situation where you got off course with somebody. It could be due to a third party situation, but not all, not for everybody. Um, I feel here almost there might be a reunion type situation. You have the six of cups in reverse, the, the page of cups, and then the three of cups. This may be something that comes back to you in a way where when you are more stable, um, it, not to say you're not stable now, but like, you are in a more stable position in your life than where you were when this issue occurred. It feels like that. Um, it also feels like there may be the potential through communication by um, with somebody to clear the air, to come out of a stagnancy with somebody um, in regard to your connection, you know, which actually may feel may make somebody feel very, very good. Um, kind of give them the boost it takes to move forward. I don't know. I think that in this situation, it feels like communication is going to be the best means to an end or to a beginning again. Um, I don't think anything is moving forward here until we have strict and steady communication with each other. But it feels like goals are moving towards the same direction. Goals are moving towards a lot of the same desires. Um, and for the Queen of Pentacles to come up in this reading twice, it almost feels like both of you are in favor of the stability that you can build together. It's just about picking the right decisions, moving forward in the right ways and getting things done, you know. Not a bad reading at all. I mean, this is literally seven, eight minutes into this reading, and it just feels like you have the potential for a lot with somebody here. Um, it's just about fine-tuning what you want. So I'm going to go ahead and pick some more cards here, and we can dissect this a little bit more. Let me find the right deck, though. <sighs> okay. Sorry. I have, like, 50-plus decks, and sometimes... They feel right, and sometimes they don't feel right, and I want it to feel right, so we're going to make it feel right. You don't feel right. Damn it. <laughs> okay. This is good. Show me the connection between the, the Page of Cups and the Six of Cups in reverse. You have the Six of Wands. So this is somebody wanting to communicate. They want to move forward with things. Um, I feel that there may be an apology to somebody that you've either had a very difficult time letting go of or somebody that's had a difficult time letting go of you. There may be communication or apology, recognizing each other's parts in the situation, recognizing the issues for what they were. Okay. Show me the Three of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles here for Cancer. Ace of Swords, Ace of Swords here, Ace of Swords here. Yeah, you need to be able to communicate with this person to feel eye, to be on eye to eye level again. Also, some of you, this may not be a situation from the past. This may be a current person in your life where there may have been discord and a, I don't know, like a, like a shutting down communication or like separation from each other, but they're still present in your life. Some of you, that's the situation, but you just need to figure out what you need to talk about or somebody needs to figure out what they need to talk about. I feel like somebody's like, that's the pressure. I feel like, how am I going to say this? What am I going to say? <clears throat> but nothing's moving forward until clear communication has happened. Show me the two of wands with the two of swords in reverse here for cancer. You have the Knight of Swords. So like I just said, clear-cut communication. The Knight of Swords, uh, yeah, look at that. Two of Wands, two of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Two of Swords in reverse here, okay? So somebody is going to come through and clear up some issues here, Capricorn, um, whether that's you or somebody you've been dealing with. Hey, Marcel, stop. Give me that look. Um yeah, the Knight of Swords is somebody who needs to communicate. They want to talk about the 
you know, the intricacies about things. They want to get to the meat and potatoes of the matter. They don't want to fuck around. They want to bring communication in its truest form to you. Sometimes it's harsh. Sometimes it's blunt. Sometimes it's uneasy to listen to. But regardless, it feels like it's coming toward you and you have the opportunity to move forward towards something positive together. Okay. Show me the Queen of Wands with the Chariot. Okay, so we have judgment here. Judgment um, is a card of utilizing our best judgment in regard to certain situations. It is a card of figuring out what makes best sense for you. Um, it is, you know, looking at a person and seeing how they change. Is this something I can get into? Is this something that is for me? You know, it's also the opportunity to say no to somebody. It's the opportunity to get away from somebody or to connect. Judgment is also a card of reconciliation. I do want to mention that here. Six of Pent six of cups in reverse with the page of cups and the six of wands very big reconciliation energy, especially with the Ace of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Somebody like dying to tell you what they feel, dying to let you know what they're feeling and thinking. And it's been very difficult for them to kind of keep that in. Show me the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So yeah, you have the Eight of Pentacles coming out in reverse with the Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Ooh. <laughs> So, yeah, first of all, what I want to say here is nothing moves forward unless you give the okay. If you feel good about it, then then it works. If it doesn't feel good, it doesn't work. For the Eight of Pentacles to be coming out here, though, <clears throat> in reverse, and the Nine of Pentacles to be at the bottom of the deck, it almost feels like some of you are in favor of not moving forward with somebody. Like, there's an energy of being able to listen to them but, and hear them out, but I also feel like it may be something that you choose to not go forward with. I'm going to pull an Oracle card here from the um, Whispers of Love Oracle deck. Can you please connect with me about, can okay, Cancer's reading. That was very quick. Simple acts of kindness. Kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. So simple acts of kindness. I'm not sure how that connects in here yet, but sometimes just listening to somebody is an act of kindness, especially if there's been harshness between you and like blocked energy. Show me the three of pentacles with the queen of pentacles. It feels like some of you are like going to go through this or go with this and that doesn't feel bad. Yeah. See, man, here we go. Ace of wands. Ace of Wands here. Some of you are going to go through this. It, not, these readings are general. They're not every specific for every single person. Okay. If it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, it doesn't. What I do need to say here, though, is that if you feel that you are potentially good with this person or through communication, you can um, tie up a lot of problems that had happened. Go for it, because it feels like there's potential for you. But it also feels like somebody who's being very shrewd in the way that they kind of scrutinize this. And I I absolutely agree with that. Like, be as shrewd as possible and scrutinize till the fucking cows come home, because this is your life. You need things to flow freely and equally with somebody, not be at odds with somebody. <sighs> um, But yeah, I mean, some of you are going to choose no. It feels more so on a larger level that a yes is here, okay? Show me the queen, because you've got the queen of swords here with the ace of wands here. This is about new beginning, new direction. It's about changing the direction, but being also very, 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 very clear in what works for you, what doesn't. Do not be wishy-washy. Do not be easygoing. This is about being very clear in your communication. Show me the connection between the ace of wands and the queen of swords here for Cancer. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so you have the devil here. Now, this, it, don't get scared of the devil. That's a, it's a fine card. Nothing's wrong with the devil. The devil here is basically a card um, that reminds us to pay attention to toxic connections, problems within relationships that never resolve, um, people's egos, 
you know, um, sometimes a relationship is just built upon sex or sex is overly, it's something that is not respected. There's an aspect of that too. Whatever this energy is, you need to figure out if you want it. You need to figure out what you want here, what can be salvaged, what can be changed, and what needs to be completely chucked in the bin and let go of so things can move forward. Could also be dealing with the Capricorn as well. I will say that with the devil there because you have the Queen of Pentacles showing up here twice. Right now, I feel like there's a necessity to take time to process whatever information that you need to either come to communicate or whatever information that is coming to you. It's time to take some um, time to process that for yourself. I'm going to go ahead and choose a card for simple acts of kindness. Kindness, re kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. Please show me that card. So you have the Ten of Wands here for simple acts of kindness. Okay, so we're going to direct that kindness to ourselves here. So self-kindness, self-awareness, things that we need to do in regard to be okay within our lives. If you're dealing with somebody, for those of you who do not want this and it's not salvageable, <clears throat> if you've been dealing with somebody who has been very difficult to handle, somebody who's maybe taken your um, health and not cared with it by like having sex with other people unprotected, you know, somebody who would do something like that. Maybe it's time to really cut that out. Maybe it's time to not trust it or re-engage in it. Okay. It feels like whatever simple acts of kindness, kindness energizes you and helps bring happiness to those around you. The 10 of wands represents an energy of long standing toil problems. And I don't mean toil, like you're working hard. I mean, like you're working hard to, you know, carry burdens with you. It's like willingly taking burdens and problems with you and just keeping them alive, maintaining them because that's the toxic connection. Devil talks about the toxic connections between us and others. Um, you know, sometimes it's about completely changing that here with the queen of swords. It's about saying, listen, Hey, if you can't change, Oh, look at this queen of swords, king of swords right here. <clears throat> this is what I want to see. This is about straight up communication here. Okay. Being on the same page with each other. This is what's between it. What's on it. You know, the devil is, where's that toxic connection? Okay. Look, even, even more so. You have the temperance card here. This is about balancing out an energy, okay? I'm, I feel like I need to pull these out. So you have the Queen of Swords, the King of Swords, the temperance card, the Seven of Swords, the, t um, what is this? The Judgment, Justice card, sorry. Hang on, you guys. Justice and the world here, Okay with the fool now at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So basically what I'm feeling here is that there's a necessity to communicate between the two of you here, Cancer. Uh, you could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, you could be dealing with a lot of people, but there's a necessity for truth and communication. And whoever is kind of like not bringing all of that, whoever's not communicating to their fullest extent in regard to procuring the, the, good things and the important things that you need in a relationship, you need to step up your game. You need to be able to communicate uh, freely and exacting in regard to whatever it is that you're saying here. The temperance card is about balance. What do you bring to a relationship? What does this person bring to a relationship? Again, I feel that there's a necessity for that within communication for anything to move here. We have to address this seven of swords devil type energy, okay? We have to address codependent issues. We need to address problems within a relationship from the past or a situation in the relationship that's current. But whatever it is, it's problematic. The seven of swords is a card that deals with cheating, lying, deception. It's, it's pretty up there there in regard to the deceptive energy of the card. It's somebody who feels like they can do anything and get away with anything and they don't really give a shit about you. Um, I don't know if that was the aspect of this person that you may have been dealing with in the past, but for some of you that do not want any more of this, you don't have to have it. You can communicate here and be very clear that this is the energy that you choose to disconnect from and that there are no more chances. And for some of you, there will be more chances with this person. And, you know, that is what it is. Justice here is talking about righting wrongs. It's talking about communication and leveling out 
um, energy with you and another person, equalizing things, bringing fairness to a situation that's lied dormant or been painful and not rectified. Out here, we have the Wheel of Fortune, moving forward, progressing, letting time change things and shape things, allowing things to change through time, but also viewing it through, okay, if you slip up in this manner again, outski, done. I don't want to be with you if that's what's going on. I feel a lot of you are going to say no, and I feel a hell of a lot of you are going to say yes here, though. You have a new beginning here with somebody. There's the back and forth energy, and again, these are general readings, and I have to say it how I see it. There's a fair portion of you that will say no to this, and there's a lot of you that will say yes to this. Okay, so let's go ahead and get advice for those saying no, okay? If you say no to this relationship, what for the group that says no? Yeah. So you, <laughs> you have the temperance and the four of pentacles. This is definitely no. Um, you know what you contribute. You know what balances you out. And you know that this situation is not something that's healthy for you. And so you'd rather continue on on your own. That's for the group that's saying no. Okay. All right. And for the group, I'll get a different deck. I will get a different deck for you guys. For those, shit, not the right deck. You'll do, you'll be fine. For those of you who want this situation, what is the advice for those that want to be in this situation? For those, okay. In the seven of cups here, okay. In the five of cups here. So I wanna say here to you, <clears throat> Cancer, for those of you looking to go into this, again, I want you to be very clear, very, very clear here, if um, you are doing this because you're lonely, if you're doing this because you feel guilty about leaving somebody, if you're doing this because you feel like you can't have anybody else or you should have this person and they're the only one, you have options, you have potentials. It's your option to take this direction should you choose to. But I want you to know and be very solid on why you're doing it, okay? The five of, pen, five of Cups is a card of regret. It's a card of sorrow. It's a card of frustration. Some of you also may take this and it may turn out into a situation where you end up being frustrated and upset. I want you to know you have options here and potentials. It's hard, though, when you're being presented with these things because these are emotionally charged decisions that you need to make. Show me the Seven of Cups for Cancer. Okay, I'm going to leave that there really quick. We'll just put those here. I don't know what that one is. Show me the Five of Cups for Cancer. Okay. <laughs> this is this is coming up for the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups, of course. Of course. All right, so let me flip over these cards for the Seven of Cups. So... For the Seven of Cups, you have the Five of Swords in reverse. You have the Four of Cups. And you have the Nine of Pentacles. Now, <laughs> for what I'm seeing here, for those of you that really, really want this, you may give it a try and it may not work out. There's some of you that are just not going to be into this at all. I think it's most important to remember the connection um, that you had with this person. Also, remember what it is that you felt in regard to how you were treated and mistreated, ignored, denied, um, you know, disregarded. I think that that needs to play a bigger, you know, role in your memory versus, oh my God, but I really love them and maybe I can change them or maybe they can change. Like you need to be very, very clear about a lot of this stuff. For some of you, you're going to go forward with it. For some of you, it's a no-go. And I think that this Nine of Pentacles is for both groups. I don't know. Like, <clears throat> I feel like you have potential. Some of you have. It's a very confusing energy because it's like almost contradictory. But I feel like some of you have potential with this person. But deep shit needs to be talked about first. For this Five of Cups to be coming up here twice, for those of you who are going to be getting involved in this again, I will be very honest and say that this indicates an energy where, you know, you could both be... Um, regretting a situation you know with the seven i'm sorry with the five of swords here in reverse this talks about apologies but it can also talk about somebody feeling very regretful about the problems that they put you through you know they may see you as somebody who's alone on their own now and you may not take their offer 
that's a potential too. So you guys have your own lives. You guys figure it out how you do. I'm going to get an overall energy as far as advice goes, and we'll be done with this reading. Please give me overall advice. Okay. <laughs> so you have the magician coming out here, and you have the knight of cups at the bottom of the deck. So again, page of cups, all of this reconciliation energy. Some of you is probably going to be getting a... Um, connection and communication with somebody here that wants to move things forward. Do one more. Okay, two. Yes. You have the nine of swords coming through and the empress. So again, I really want to advise to you guys, whatever it is that has been plaguing your mind about this situation, really think about it and see if that can actually be changed if you get back involved with somebody and things seem like they're kind of heading down the same direction that they were in the past or somebody's disregarding you or you're disregarding someone, I would say be careful about that. You know, start to watch the, the patterns and situations because right now I feel like some of you, if you choose to go away from this, you end up in a very powerful place within your life and within yourself, okay? It's about changing the direction and course of this. Um, some of you, I feel, will go back to this, but there's potential regret as well. So it's it's kind of 50, 50, 75, 25, and I can't tell you which one's gonna be which. And I'm gonna stop this reading here because I don't want to lead anybody on and I don't want to talk out of my ass. I just want to give what I'm getting and be done with it. So. My, again, my apologies for um, the late reading, but that's how it had to be. And I will talk to you guys soon. If you like this reading, please feel, feel, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And if you choose to donate, there's a link in the description box below. And we will talk to you later, Cancer. Take care. Good luck with it. Bye.